Hi everyone, I'm back with another video. This time it's going to be on Partial Sums Edition. Partial Sums Edition is really great for students who are learning how to add multi-digit numbers, so two digits, three digits, and so on. Um, and it's also really helpful for kids who are having trouble with regrouping. Um, so this is a couple of problems that I have set up for us to try today. First, we're going to start with 47 plus 12. So the reason it's called partial sums is because you're actually going to break these numbers down into their parts. Uh, most stud students know how to do expanded notation, and that simply means you're taking this number and breaking it down into its parts. So you're breaking it down into its tens plus its ones. Then we're going to do the same thing for the 12. We're going to break that 12 down into its tens plus its ones. Now that I have my numbers broken out into their parts, I'm going to just simply add those parts together. 7 plus 2 is 9. 40 plus 10 is 50. And then I can rewrite my numbers over here underneath my original problem to get 59. Now it also works, as I said, with numbers where there is going to be regrouping. So in this, num in this addition problem, 138 plus 25, again, I'm just going to take these two numbers and break them down into their parts into expanded notation. So I have 100, 3 tens, and 8 ones. Same thing for the 25. Now since the 25 doesn't have a hundreds place, I can either leave this blank or I can write in a zero. Now I'm going to add all of those parts up. 8 plus 5 is 13. I'm just going to write that number down here. Even though it's a two digit number, it's okay to go ahead and write the whole number down here at the bottom. 30 plus 20 is 50. And then 100 plus nothing is 100. And then again, I'm just going to write all of those numbers underneath my problem. Hope I don't run out of room. to come up with 163. Now this is a little bit of extra writing and you actually don't have to write out all of these numbers to the side, but it is a helpful step when you're first learning how, um, how to add numbers like this where you have regrouping, um, but you can just write your answers, your sums down here underneath the problem. I'm gonna show you what I mean with this problem over here. So with this problem, I'm not going to write out all the expanded notation like I did in the other problems. <clears throat> I'm simply just going to start with my ones place, and whatever sum I get for each place value, I'm going to put it down here in the bottom, and then I'm going to re-add all of those sums. So for example, 5 plus 7 is 12, and I'm going to write that two-digit number down here at the bottom. Then. 40 plus 30, because remember this isn't just 4 plus 3, this is 40 plus 30, 40 plus 30 is 70. And then 2 hundreds plus no hundreds is 2 hundreds. So again, you can see how this type of notation will really be helpful to learn how to do this shorter version over here. And you just simply add up your sums to come up with your total answer, 282. Uh, please sub subscribe to my channel and uh, please check out my other Tutoring B videos. Thanks.